Hello. How to choose your payroll tax deposit schedule for 2023 if you file IRS Form 941? And Form 941 is quality, uh, uh, employer quality federal tax return. So if you file Form 941, if at the beginning of the, the year, the calendar year, you need to take a look at uh, your two previous year Form 941 returns that you file. So there is a look back that you have to do to, to be able to determine the schedule deposit that you are going to use for you know the current calendar year so we are going to talk about 2023 so as a form 941 filer you will pull your task return form 941 that you file in 2021 quarter 3 and quarter 4 so that will be Form 941 for uh, for the period for the quarter starting July 1st, 2021 to Form 941 for the quarter ending June 30th, 2022. So that's one year time frame or four quarters time frame. So that'll be quarter three file in 2021 quarter four file in 2021 quarter one of 2022 and quarter two of 2022 so you will pull those quarters and you will total them together so if the total tax liability let me so you look at line 12 Line 12, total tax after adjustment and non-refundable credit. So if line 12 of those four returns between two, May 2021 and May 2000, the, you know, the last half of 2021 and the first half of 2022, if those four quarters line 12 or form uh, those for those form 941 equal fifty thousand dollars or less you will choose monthly deposit schedule for 2023 and that's the schedule you are going to follow for the whole year if at any point at any day during the year you have hundred thousand dollars or more in tax liability you make that task deposit the next day and then you switch from the monthly deposit schedule that you choose you switch to see my weekly deposit from that point on to the rest of the year okay so when you total your form 941s your four form 941s from the last from the second half 2021 to the first half of 2022 together and the total of line 12 from 941 for those four quarters is more than fifty thousand dollars you will choose see my weekly deposit schedule for 2023 so as a semi weekly deposit schedule you will complete schedule b form 941 when you file your form 941 and schedule b is for three months is for a quarter so you are going to list your daily payroll liability on it therefore knowing that in advance you will track your payroll and payroll Task by day so that you can complete this schedule 
easily and you will complete it each time you file form 941 because it has three quarters and you will check the quarter you are you know it is for and again when you are if you are semi weekly deposit um semi weekly schedule depositor then when you are filing form 941 you will pull schedule b as well if you are a monthly deposit uh, if you are a monthly schedule deposit or, or you choose monthly deposit schedule if your total liability on line 12 that we look up earlier if the total tax after adjustment and non-refundable credit is going to be more than 2500 you are going to check monthly deposit schedule if that's your schedule and you are go and you'll be required to put your monthly tax liability for that quarter therefore it will be a good idea to track your tax liability by month so that you can complete this session so if you know your tax liability will be more than will be 2500 or more for line 12 of form 941 it'll be a good idea to track your payroll and payroll tax liability in a way that you can pull the monthly amount to you know to line 16 because chances are you are going to check the second box but if your tax liability end up being less than 2500 you will check the first box and you won't be required to to break down your line 12 into monthly tax liability because others you know might want it to see how that line 12 is broken down by mouth to see if you make your monthly deposit schedule as required so if you do, didn't make it as required you might be charged penalty or interest on the one that they might consider late payment so how do you make or when do you make your monthly deposit so let's say you um you have a tax liability in january you pay wages in january so you have a tax liability in January. So you need to deposit that tax liability by February 15. So when you 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 make your monthly deposit by the for prior month tax liability, you make that prior month tax liability by the 15 of the current month, pretty much. And you make those tax liability by EFT electronic form transfer using EFTPS electronic federal tax payment system so let's pause here and first let's go to IRS website if you are if you do not have an EFTPS account or you didn't register when you go to IRS website you will click on pay and under pay you have electronic federal tax payment system so you will click on that and you'll be able to roll and read it but you will pretty much sign up to be able to make your deposit schedule via EFT so deposit schedule for new employers so we are for new employers usually it's going to be the monthly deposit schedule that you will choose because your look back your look back tax liability for 
for that first half for that second half 2021 and first half 2022 your tax liability will be zero because you are not employed year back then so because it's zero is less than fifty thousand dollars you will choose monthly deposit schedule as a new employer in 2023 okay so how to figure out your deposit schedule if you file form 944 the past two years and now you are required to file form 941 in 2023 form 944 is employer your annual federal tax return while form 941 is employer quarterly federal tax return so if your tax liability was small and IRS require you file form 944 and you file it for the past two years 2021 and 2022 and now in 2023 you are required to file form 941 your look back will be form 944 that you file in 2021 don't know if it makes sense so that will be 2021 form 944 and it will be you file it in spring of 2022 but it will be 2021 form 944 so you look at 2021 form 944 that you file and you look at line 9 let me see if we have it here we don't but let's open uh, an example of form 944 and take a look at that line 9 And I will think from 944 for 2021 will be the line will still be line 9. But we can let's see if we have a copy of that form on hand here. But line 9 on form 944 will be total tax after adjustment and non refundable credit. So 2021 for 944 line 9. Total tax after adjustment and non refundable credit. So you look at line 9 of your 2021 form 944, which was due by March 15 of 2022. So you will pull that, and if line 9 is less than is equal or less than fifty thousand dollars you will choose monthly deposit schedule for 2023 but if line 9 on your 2021 from 944 is more than fifty thousand dollars you will choose CMI weekly deposit schedule and yeah the line is still the same for uh, 2022 return as well it didn't change So let's talk about see my weekly deposit schedule we already talked about monthly deposit schedule it is the 15 of every month you pay the tax liability for the prior month on the 15 of the current month and you pay a using EFT uh, you pay via EFT using EF TPS system so what is the schedule for semi weekly deposit you pay twice a week wednesdays and fridays so if you pay wages on saturday sunday monday tuesday you will uh, deposit the tax liability related to those wages you pay on friday and pretty much that friday is the same week as monday and tuesday and if you make 
uh, if you pay wages on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you will make your tax liability deposit. Your tax liability relate to those wages that you pay on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You will make you will deposit that tax on Wednesday. So you will you know so you make your deposit on Wednesday and Friday based on when you pay those wages so and yeah that's the semi weekly deposit schedule so it is advised at the beginning of the calendar year to do your look back and see which of the two deposit schedule you need to uh, adopt for the current year and if your form 941 line 12 the total tax liability is less than 2500 you could pay um, that tax liability when you file form 941 but if it, it is more than if it is two thousand dollars if that line 12 is equal two thousand five hundred or more you are required to make deposits so or you can make deposit there is options where you can choose to um to pay and there are those exceptions if you are making deposit based on your schedule and then you know your tax liability is more than 2500 you can pay with the return but i would just suggest i think it's just easier when you see it let's see if we can open um the form 941 instructions Let's go back to 2023 and we can open form 941 and the instructions and you can find more in the publication 15 we can open that as well and we can close that off for we can close those But yeah, it is easier to just know that if your line 12 or form 941 is more than two, is 2,500 or more, you just deposit, you know, the amount you owe. It might make it a little bit easier to remember because you have that line 12, which is a total tax liability, but if you have been making deposits, there will be a subtraction between line 12 and line 13G. And if you owe tax, it will be on line 14, balance due. So that's where you decide if you want to pay it with the form or deposit it but it is just simpler to know that if your line 12 is more than 2000 is 2500 um, or more it's just better you deposit your balance that is on line 14 because if you have been making deposit you must just make a deposit there but and then if you know your line 12 is less than 2500 then you can choose if you want to pay with the form or deposit it so they do have you know some instructions here if your total tax after adjustment on refund will create on line 12 for the current quarter or the preceding quarter at less than $2,500, you didn't incur $100,000 uh, 
the next day deposit obligation during the current year and you are paying in full in a timely failed return or you are a monthly schedule deposit or making payment in accordance to your schedule in this case the amount on of your payment may be 2500 or more so yeah and yeah they do have those exceptions but i think it is just easier to know that if your line 12 is less than 2500 and you owe an amount on line 14 you owe a balance due you can pay with the form 941 but if your line 12 is more than 2500 or equal to 2500 might just be simple to just deposit whatever you owe on line 14 just to make it simple otherwise you need to read the instruction so that you to know if you meet the, the exception requirement to make payment okay and uh, you can find more on um, the yeah on in the instructions as well for form 941 page 8 they talk about it a little bit you can read it as well to see you know um which one is easier for you to remember but just know that as a business owner and employer if you are an NLC task as an escort and you are working in your business you are an employee of your business so if you are excuse me if you are collecting salary yeah you need to know the schedule the the the, the deposit schedule that you want to choose or are required to choose for 2023 to make sure you are following that schedule so if you are paying yourself periodically you might want to make your tax liability deposit based on that schedule that you are required to follow based on how you look back you know turn out to be so because if your line 12 on form 941 total tax is 2500 or more you will prove your tax liability breaking down by month if you are monthly deposit schedule or monthly de schedule depositor for IRS to, to compare that to how often you make deposits during the quarter to see if you make your deposit based on your schedule does that make sense so thank you so much for watching and again publication 15 is let's see if we can go to um before we do that let's scroll down to the semi weekly where you can On page 28 section 11 of publication 15 2023 publication 15 employer's guide task guide you can see the semi-weekly deposit schedule and you can read more in that publication so let's go on top for you to see the title of the publication so that's circular e employer's task guide 2023 and of session 11 deposing taxes is where you will read more about deposit schedule thank you so much for watching i'm afiavi liberman creators of liberal consulting llc youtube channel and in asub.com our blog where you can find free downloads and we do have a spreadsheet we do have multiple payroll um uh, payroll spreadsheets or workbook at ninasub.com that you can take a look at it to see which one 
might be used for you in your business if you don't have a way to track your payroll but just know that um i i don't think our, our spreadsheet is now well suited if you are a semi-weekly depositor because as a semi-weekly depositor you are going to track your tax liability by day of the month and is and our payroll spreadsheet i think one track it by month so you can see which one works well for you and they are under free downloads thank you so much for watching on our you know on our blog and you know on our videos we share different ways you can save money and different ways you can make money to create multiple streams of income and reach your financial independence where you do not depend on your employer to provide for your family. So knowing if you have a side business and you are filing your tax return yourself, that's one way to save money. But there are those things that we need to be aware of so that we can, you know, file our tax return accurately and knowing if you are you have employees or you are an employer of your S Corp yourself, you are paying yourself salary, yeah, you might want to know when you are required to deposit those tax liability to you know to pay them to um, IRS and if you are asking yourself what those tax liability or payroll tax uh, taxes tax includes that include the federal income tax the federal income tax we've held from the employee salary the social security tax we've held from the employee salary the Medicaid tax we've held from the employee salary and the social security tax paid by the employer and the Medicaid tax paid by the employer. So the total of those taxes are what I'm calling by payroll tax that you need to pay to IRS and for that you have two deposit schedule to choose from. See my weekly deposit schedule or monthly deposit schedule thank you we thank you very much for watching our videos thank you for all your comments and we thank you very much you want to subscribe to our channel